This is gonna be a good one, shit. So we have it's another this is one of these be a good situations. One. This beautiful Wait, I think I've seen this clip. Full women who put on a lot of effort into looking good for a date within two minutes said that he no, wasn't I feeling I it and left. Unrelated. They say there's a male loneliness epidemic. Let's watch the video. Well, this is I gonna put be good. Up on just for this date, so okay. it better go well. And I'm not I don't like her makeup. She has too much of it. It's too red. It's too Mm. Interesting this, probably. It's too strong. Like, turn it down like 30% and she would be so pretty. If it doesn't. It did not go well. Truthfully, it lasted less than two minutes. I walked up, he gave me a hug and said, Are you hungry? Let's go inside. We went inside. He said, okay. actually, can you step outside for a minute? And I stepped okay. back outside and he said, I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just not feeling it. So I walked to my car and came back home. Dating when you're fat sucks. Now the question here is, how did they meet? The question here to me is, how did they meet? A lot of effort. It what did she say? And I'm um, not post. It better go well. Watch the video. I put makeup on just for this date, so it better go well. And um, like, did they meet on Tinder? Like, I don't think it was the way. <laughs> Honestly, she doesn't even look that bad. We don't see the rest of her body, but she doesn't look that bad. She might be. Somewhat chubby, but to me she looks fine. The makeup is the makeup is eh, eh the makeup. Eh. How did they meet? Um, is my question. I oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. So I walk to my car. Dating when you're fat sucks. It does suck. Sure, it does suck. <laughs> this face. Sure, I'm not saying it doesn't. I put. So we're gonna look at this from two different perspectives. Okay, let's go, S-Man. <laughs> let's go. F-G-C-A, okay? Fat. Girl. Camera. What's the last word? You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Fuck. I'm not a real S-Man fan. I'm not a real S-Man fan. Asshole? I don't know. Angle. I don't know how many fucking times I have okay. seen girls that have posted photos on social media and they look one way and I see them in real life and they look and a they different look the way. Other. And you led some dude on. That is true as well. That is true as well. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. People make themselves look better on social media. That's not a secret. People do do that. Making him think that you look one way, and now you're the one that's the victim after you effectively lied to somebody, as if she wouldn't have turned somebody down if they weren't attractive to her. You basically catfished him. I want to let y'all know- In that way, he is right. Assuming, let's say they didn't meet on Twitter. Assuming that they- not Twitter, sorry, Tinder. That they met- met on Tinder. And they haven't met each other prior before this. And uh, people do post the pictures that make them look most flattering on the internet. There's no surprise. Guy Chat, do you remember? We watched a video recently. I think it was a meme video where a woman, an obese woman, was hiding her belly fat between uh, behind the door frame <laughs> like the shit off. bro remember that one uh, bro oh like i am yeah. fishing right now this photo of myself i t he looks way different yeah imagine i post a photo where i just digitally add about 10 pounds of muscle then show up looking like a wire coat hanger bent into the shape of a stickman yeah same result it would end up the same took this when i was 23 or 24 i am now 34. <laughs> nice either way what i'm really trying to get at here if you post photos of yourself and it doesn't represent what you look like as a person now you have misled someone and you are not a victim when they want to peace out the moment that they see you agreed based and agreed Dave. if that is the case if that happened the way it did, which most likely it did, which most likely it was a Tinder shit, like a Tinder shit date, and yes, you are catfishing. Angles, 
do make people look thinner. They do. You can push the angle up. You can put your uh, camera above your head. And you will look thinner. It just is true. To be fair, Esmond still looks good. Maybe not conventionally good looking, there but still isn't ugly. There was one story years yeah. ago where a dude met a girl on a dating app. Problem yeah. was, she used a slim filter on her face on the app and weighed in at about oh 300 God. pounds. The oh dude my was upset, God. left and she called him out on the internet as fat phobic, threatened oh to dox God. him, etc. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, did I tell you I'm fat phobic too? Did I tell you guys I'm fat phobic? Clearly. I'm clearly fat phobic. I hate fat people. I hate them so much. I hate fat people so fucking much. They disgust me. Did you know that? 39, thanks for the follow. But did you know that? That I... I... Despise fat people? Did you know that? And that being fat is healthy? Did you know that? Did you know that? And did you know it's very healthy actually to be fat? Did, did you hear about that chat? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic right now. I don't hate fat people. I do not hate fat people. I don't hate anyone. I don't really hate my stepfather who's an abusive piece of shit. Okay? I couldn't care fucking less about anyone else than really me and anyone that's close to me. Here comes the out of context clips. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. You know, I will repeat this and I will die on this hill. Fat po- Sorry, body positivity. It's only for fat white chicks. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It's the truth. No one else cares about it. We only need to be body positive when it's about fat white chicks. But when it's actually about someone who's disabled, who is a burn victim, doesn't fucking matter. Then they look they look awful and they scare the children. Doesn't fucking matter in that case. Oh, it also doesn't matter that I have a few ki kilograms too many on my body and I'm not proud of my body. Yeah, yes, I weigh a bit too much. I despise my weight. I despise being like this. I don't take fucking offense when people call a uh, fat ugly. I don't. Yes, it's ugly. Being fat can be very ugly. If you make yourself look pretty, look pretty, good job on you. Well fucking done. I can't. It's ugly to me. I dislike it. We should start with a body negativity movement. Yeah, true, true. I'm glad I started going to the gym now. There you go. There you go. There you fucking go. But hey, I lost a friendship over hating fat people, over being so fucking negative, over hating, over ripping onto people. I lost a close friendship because of this. Ridiculous! It's ridiculous! And it was defended as in I was being insensitive. I was being insensitive to a person because they weigh a bit more. Because it's indirect bullying. I'm bullying. Do you wanna know what I said? I will find the clip of what I said. It's it's on my YouTube. Here, found it. Um this is probably timestamped still. And it's not yeah, like Nick I has think to stop doing starts, mukbangs yeah. just because he loses. There are some I people think who would be here. mad about it. The fat phobia advocates there. will be mad there. that he lost weight. I hate those fat phobia advocates, man. Like being fat. There. It's just unhealthy. Being it is. fat is so fucking unhealthy. Apparently, that's not true. Apparently, I'm wrong. Apparently, I'm bullying. Apparently, this is me bullying. If you're fat, it's n it's not about loving your fucking body and accepting it's your not. body. It's about how fucking unhealthy it is. If you're f yeah, yeah, yep, fat lose the f lose weight. If you're happy with the weight that you are, okay, that's great, sure. But it's still unhealthy. Do what you want, but it's unhealthy. Yeah. If you're happy with the way you live, sure, but you're still unhealthy. But. If they advocate for it, no, it's healthy and all that shit. Like, that's so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad.
Like, no, it's it's not good. It's it's not good to be fed. You don't judge overweight people. That's what the doctor has to do. But you don't tell others, hey, that is healthy. You can weigh 400 pounds and there is no reason to be worried. Just as a copium mechanism for your own wrongdoings. If you want to be fat, go. Be fat, yeah. no one cares. Yeah. If you want to be no buried in a shipping container for cars someday, have fun. Yeah. But don't influence others into following the same fate. Yep. Yep. Well, yep, very true. Very true. Very true. Also, this isn't all what he said to you this. This continues. This continues like half a minute, a minute later, where I go on to say that I know that it's not as easy to lose the fucking weight. I know I'm live living this 40s, life. Mind your diet and physical yes. exercise, or at least that's how I was taught. Exactly this. I grew up with obese parents that hated their life. That fucking despised their life because they're obese. My mom is fucking depressed over her weight. Or really, my mom got depressed, gained weight, uh, got even more depressed. You know, chat, I was genuinely told it's not unhealthy. It's not unhealthy. I, I asked the person, I asked the person, is it unhealthy? To be fat or not. And he said, no. No. You cannot make this shit up. It, it fills me with anger. It fills me with anger that this apparently I am ripping into fat people. Chat, tell me honestly. Tell me. Am I ripping into fat people with this? This clip that I showed you. Right there. Am I r ripping hatred into fat people with this? No, you're just stating a fact. There. Like, uh, don't fucking echo chamber me or anything. Like, tell me, am I wrong? I got severe depression because of my weight in the middle school and high school because all the kids would pick on me. Man, it is healthy for the retirement system. <laughs> Truly. You're just stating the fact without euphemisms. No, as, they say, as the saying goes, the truth hurts whether they like it or not. This is just factually true. I really dislike glorifying unhealthy habits. Make fat shaming great again. <laughs> it would help some people. It would help some people. That's why my obese uncle died from a heart attack at 41. No one ever from the family had a heart attack, but sure, he would have had the same faith if he was normal weight. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I told the person, I told the person that I was talking to that it's a fact that people that die earlier, uh, pff, that people that are overweight die earlier. And the person responded, no, it's not. What? <laughs> what do you mean it's not? <laughs> nah. -uh. I said, yes, it is. <laughs> they didn't respond to that anymore. They didn't respond to that anymore. <laughs> like literally, heart disease, fat lover, diabetes, all of them would like to have a word with you. Through the brain got to them. This person isn't even active on Twitter. That person isn't even active on Twitter. That person mostly lives offline. I had an accident a while back, which effed up my arm and legs. Due to me una uh, uh, due to me unable to do sports like I did before I gained much weight, because of it, I was in such a bad headspace. Only after I lost 50 kilograms, I started to feel alive again. Bro, it's a fucking fact that if you are not overweight, that if you are at a healthy weight, you live happier. It is just a fact. And for close friends to say to me that I am ripping into people, that I am hating onto shit because of that, is ridiculous to me. Fat shaming is a no-no for me. That just makes them more depressed. They should be inspired and told that they can do it. That they can improve and win that shit. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Am I fat shaming with this? Am I fat shaming with this? Is what I said in this clip fat shaming? No. I'm not fat shaming. There you go. Being obese is not healthy. Much like your ex and I'm built different. Like, incorrectly. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they need to stop eating fat people are gross. 
Okay, okay, okay. That, that's a bit too far. That, I do disagree with. They don't need to stop eating. They need to eat healthier. And yes, there, there can be many reasons why someone is overweight, right? There can be many, many, many reasons why someone is overweight. Health reasons and whatever not, right? What I have a problem with is glorifying being fat. That's where I have a problem with. That saying that it's not unhealthy. That's where I take issue. I'm not saying fat people are gross. I'm not saying that. I'm saying they are living an unhealthy life. They need... They should live a healthier life if they want to live a longer life. You don't necessarily die if you are overweight. You don't necessarily die earlier if you are overweight. Okay? It's not necessarily. But it's way, 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 way more likely for you to die an earlier death. Fat is gross. Fat people are attractive on a case-by-case -case basis, just like anyone else. But fat people are, on average, less attractive. Yes. Unfortunately, for them, I guess, that is true. Being able to make yourself look good while you are overweight. Honestly, that's a skill. Body positivity should be about encouraging people to improving their body, in my opinion. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely fucking agreed. That is what body positivity should be about. Absolutely fucking agreed. Gorlok is trying to lose weight. Actually, damn. That's good. She just disappeared, so I thought she went poof. I I'm, I'm happy for her. Bro, the best example we can show right now is Nikado Avocado. Nikado Avocado was a laughing stock. My brother in Christ was a laughing stock, but no, he was always two steps ahead. Fuck body positivity, I'm gonna change my body. 